Okay, so today I'm gonna to plant a few potatoes. Um, I'm gonna try them again this year in the bee boxes, trying to stack them up. And I'll probably plant a few in the ground as well. Um, but last year I don't think I had enough moisture in them to grow, so they just kinda of did nothing. So luckily I knew someone who does keeps bees. She gave me her old bee boxes. They're falling apart, but they uh, suit the purpose I need them for. A pretty simple, nice, basic hollow. I'm just gonna toss them on the ground here, throw my potatoes and toss some compost on top. Um, these are the potatoes here that I'm gonna be planting today. I've got uh, some of the purple Russian blues and banana fingerlings. They've uh, kind of sprout, sprouted quite a bit on me. Um, I didn't store them properly. I was hoping to eat more of them, but they all sprouted over the winter, so here we go. So I'm probably gonna put, uh, I don't know, four in each box here, I think, four or five. Two, two on the edges and probably one in the center. Some of them are smaller than others, so let's we'll see what happens. It's all about experimenting, seeing what works, what doesn't. And the idea too, I think, is you wanna keep the bigger potatoes if you're gonna save them, so you get bigger potatoes down the road. Bigger ones, I'll probably just do uh, three in one box. Okay, I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so there you go, there's three in that one. See the Russian blues, banana fingerlings. A few in there, a few in there, and a few in there as well. I might toss a few more in, just see what happens. Okay, so next step is to get the dirt in. So I'll be using this compost pile here. I was kind of smart planted my potatoes close to the pile so I don't have far to walk. So I'll probably do like two or three buckets worth in here. Maybe two buckets just to... Looks like I actually made one bucket to cover them up for now. Compost is pretty heavy, so I gotta spray it and break it down a wee bit. <coughs> so with this technique, what happens is once the plants uh, grow up, you start seeing the green. You let them grow about maybe a foot up, then you bury them again. And then once they get high enough, you put the next box on. Same thing, next box. So as the season progresses, I'll uh, do some more videos showing you how that progresses. So I've planted a few along here as well, so I'm gonna just compost those up as well and then try to experiment side by side and see what happens over the season. There we go, so I will plant more potatoes in another bed later on, but this is just to get a quick start and see how they go. So I'm gonna grab some more soil from another bed that's a little finer to put on top and then uh, got a mix between the compost and soil. And this is just a bit of the soil here that I got for the top. Mix her in. Now I'll just kind of level them up a wee bit.
Okay, and then now I'm just gonna give them a quick, give them a quick water quickly, and then we'll leave them for a few weeks and see uh, how well they start growing. It's still, it's about uh, end of April, mid or so, so it's still kind of early, but because I always find potatoes growing all over the place in the garden anyways from previous years, they should be okay out here this early, even if we get a little bit of a hard frost as they're buried quite deep. So as I mentioned early on, I'm gonna try to keep them a lot more moist this year. I think that was a problem last year for them not growing. And because I'm growing up, they dry out a lot quicker. So there we go. They are all ready 